everyone, it's Arlene with Design with Arlene. And today's card, I'm going to be making a graduation card. So it's the season of graduations right now going on. And since my son is graduating high school, we have a lot of his friends that we will be attending parties. And so of course we need a card for those parties, right? For the, um, for the graduates. So I looked in my stash of stamp sets and I really don't have anything specific for graduation. So I thought I just wanted to kind of look around and see what I have in my stamp set to see that, or stamp stash, I guess, to see which cards would work, uh, which stamps would work. And so I came up with a few of them I wanted to show you. Um, this one is the beautiful you and it has the celebrate and also like the so happy for you. And I think that would work. Um, couple of those and even like this image here if it's a girl I happen to be um, a lot of guys of course I'm doing graduation cards for and then the enjoy life set also has what I really liked was um, wake up kick butt repeat <laughs> and I thought that could is um, a saying I thought it could might go you know for the right person this um, strong and beautiful stamp set has um, a few of them they're you know all sentiments but the one that I'm actually going to be using for this card is you're amazing and that's a fact. So, but I really like this other one too. Keep reaching for your dreams. I will keep cheering you on. I thought that was a nice sentiment too as well. That would work. Um, and then Lily Pad Lake. Now this isn't one that you would really think to look at, but it does have a congratulations. So I'm going to be using this congratulations for this stamp or this card as well. So let me show you the cardstock that I'm using. So I'm using basic black and whisper white. But you could really, you know, change this up if you wanted to, to make it to fit the school colors that of the graduate. Now this card is already pre-cut. Um, I have a Cricut and so in my design space, I cut this out. This actually came from another person that has a YouTube channel or did have one. I don't know. I don't think that she is still active on there, but she has, um, she made an SVG file that you can download and then um, put it onto your Cricut Design Space. There are also ones that you can get here on YouTube that you have that you can cut manually and then measure. I just have never been good at that whole measuring thing. And so I was looking and I happened to find this one. And I don't know if you can actually see these little fold or the score lines, but the Cricut will do it all for you if you have a Cricut. So it's scored right where you're supposed to fold it at. Um, and then with my, this, it also cuts these two pieces out. I've got two pieces of Whisper White like this. So let me um, go ahead and stamp. So I'm going to be leaving this one blank, but I'm stamping on this image right here and just using Memento Black ink. Um, I will stamp the, let's see, let's stamp the You're Amazing and That's a Fact first. And I'm stamping it just up here where the point is. I'm more on the upper part of the card. And then taking the congratulations stamp. Now you can see the new clean stamps show, you know, it has the, the wording on it. The ones that did were not clean stamp, I did not put the, the um, backing on it that has the words because it seems like it didn't stick as well. So and let's see if I can get this straight. And if I can't, that's okay. Yeah, not too bad. Okay. And then take your black, my black piece of paper, and I'm going to fold on the score lines. So I'm just folding like a mountain fold here. And then scoring, um, folding like a valley fold on those other fold lines. On both or in both directions okay so there you have it that's the fold and then it's actually going to be when you fold it it's going to fold like this okay so let's glue this section right here down okay and then if, what I'm going to do is be, I'm going to take this square and um, glue it onto the bottom upper 
corner here. But before I do that, I want to attach a tassel. So just take a piercing tool and about in the middle, I'm going to poke a hole right there. Okay, like so. Now, so you can, you can buy ready-made tassels if you want to, which I think if you were going to do multiples of these, I would recommend that you do. Um, unless you're really handy with twine or string, <laughs> something like that, which I'm not. So this is just actually some twine that I had some leftover from one of my paper pumpkin kits. And so I'm wrapping it about four times like that. And then let me cut this off here. And then what I did is I've taken a, a larger brad. This is the star. I happen to have it again in my stash. So because it's larger though, rather than a smaller one, I'm not going to just, I'm not going to wrap it where the tassel is or normally you know how a tassel is wrapped around with cord on the top of it. I'm just going to kind of take my brad and then twist my um, twine right here on the bottom and then run it through that hole. Okay, and then before I wanna really push that down, make it straight. There you go. Make sure that you've got it pulled down there like that. And then you can just trim. That's the cat. I'm not sure if you can hear her or not. But and it might look good with a little tie right here too, you know, depending what you wanted to do with it. But, and then see that brad right there, you just take this square of Whisper White and you adhere it down over that brad so it holds it like that. Okay, and then when you're finished, there it is, it looks like that. And then you open it up and it's got, now you can hold, you can, you know, put some money up here, a gift card, um, but, but your cards are really cute, unique. They're handmade and it didn't really take a lot of time, especially, especially when you have, say, multiples of cards that you need to get out for um, graduation. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, have a great weekend and go out and create, bye.